inside those six minutes, it's, it's grueling. I like how it takes a lot of dedication and focus. One on one. You can't take the easy way out in wrestling. You have to push yourself. My name is Jermaine, but I also go by JJ. Underhook wrist. It's like having an extra coach in there. Whoever he's practicing with, if we throw him in with um, one of the newer kids, I know that I don't, I don't need to focus so much on that group because JJ's gonna be in there to, um, coaching him up on his own. When I was five years old, my parents put me in lots of sports and we found the hand-to-hand -hand wrestling program and that's where it all started. His parents have instilled upon him a work ethic that's second to none. He learned it at a young age from his, his mom and dad. My parents made sure that I respect my authorities and just was nice to everybody I meet. They are very special people in this program. It makes me want to do better and break my goals and work past my limits. Has anyone said he's just a good kid? <laughs> just a great kid. There you go, that's a pin! There you go, that's what I'm talking about. It was exciting. I actually was a little bit scared because like, I was scared I wasn't gonna live up to like the past year. He was probably the only person scared. I think everyone else, they knew it was coming. The week before at Lower State, we went against each other and I teched him in the finals there. It's a kid who he had wrestled two, maybe three times before, and he had had trouble pinning this kid. I know if I worked a little bit harder, I could have pinned him. But the kid was, I mean, tough, strong, and JJ had made it, uh, I think it was a personal kind of thing for him where he, he wanted to get the pin on that kid. And that's what I did at State. Yeah. And you could see it just uh, like he was a little bit more jacked up than I'd seen him. It literally didn't even feel real. Like since middle school, I was dreaming about that moment and for it to actually happen, just a smile on my face, that, like the whole match, like, I was excited. No, and I don't think it was just because it was a state finals match. I think it was because that was, a, that was another internal goal that he had. It feels amazing for like all the work I put in to pay off and for it to be like the second year in a row, it feels amazing. He hasn't lost a match in South Carolina in high school. Um, uh, there hasn't been a match close in South Carolina to JJ. There's several wrestlers that went to Virginia Beach for the Virginia Beach National Tournament. Just to finish in the top eight as an All-American out of a hundred some odd kids, and that's uh, an awesome achievement. I know that there's competition that's suiting to get past me or get my spot and I know I have to work harder than every single one of them. He can't sit back on his laurels and as good as he is, he knows that there's still mountains to climb. Uh, just very proud and excited for him because he's put the work in and has, has earned everything that he's gotten. People gravitate towards that, people want to be like that. It, it, helps, it helps out the whole program to have, have someone like him in there.